So you're probably looking at Cyberpunk 2077 right now, especially with the recent popularity and thinking should I be buying this game because I've heard that on release this game was actually unplayable and let's not kid ourselves when Cyberpunk 2077 came out there were a lot of issues especially on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now at the same time on PC and even on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X there were problems but over the past two years, Cyberpunk has seen a number of patches which actually helped the game a lot. And due to the popularity of Cyberpunk Edgerunners, it was a perfect recipe for a comeback of Cyberpunk 2077. Now today I'm going to be going through the entire game to show you what has been fixed and what doesn't to help you if you want to buy the game, but honestly, my advice to you right now is, especially while it's on sale, is to absolutely get this game. Now first off, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, and those are bugs, because most people right now are wondering is the game still buggy and playable at all? After patch 1.5 came out, the game actually had a major overhaul where a bunch of basic systems were changed. And also, there was a lot of work spent on actually polishing the game up. Now do keep in mind, on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and especially on PC, right now the game is running fine. I've tested it both on, as I said, PlayStation 5 and PC. Now, at the same time, is there bugs? Yeah, from time to time you're going to see those small bugs where NPCs are going to either T-pose or they're gonna be going through maybe a car or maybe a piece of furniture, but again, having those game-breaking bugs and bugs which absolutely fill out your screen, those are not present anymore. Because, as I said, most of that time on patch 1.5 was spent on the underlying systems of the game, so it actually feels and plays better. And even frame rate itself was fixed a lot, and um, people on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One also reported that um, their gameplay has been improved. Now do keep in mind that um, this last patch, patch 1.6, is the last patch for last gen console, so from now on everything including the expansion is going to be for current gen and PC. Now obviously due to the bugs being fixed, the graphics of the game were fixed a lot, where now you don't have all of those crazy LOD pop-ups when you're walking around, and even though from time to time I will still have a few cars uh, spawn around me, it's nowhere close as it was when the game came out, where now actually the city is going to feel more alive. And because the game has been polished, you can actually run it in higher settings, and because of that you're going to experience the beauty of Night City, which I do think is a very valuable thing in this game, because if there is one thing CDPR has absolutely nailed, that's Night City itself. And also a huge improvement has been done to AI, where now, you know, pedestrians on the road are actually going to carry weapons, so if they feel threatened by you, they're going to turn from a non-combatant enemy into a one which is going to attack you. And of course, AI when it comes to drivers in the game has also been fixed, where they now actually react to stuff which is going on around them. And besides that, CDPR has added a way to optimize your apartment with new looks and just change the design overall. That means with the primary V's apartment, but also if you want something more stylish, you actually have the ability to buy new apartments right now, which also give you different uh, bonuses or they will just look cooler when you enter them. And as I said, when it comes to the underlying systems of this game, like abilities and perks and everything you spend your points on, this has also been fixed, where now, well, every single perk and every single attribute is going to work as it should, it's not going to be absolutely broken, this also unlocks various other, like, uh, possibilities when it comes to the game and playstyle you're going to be playing with. And gunplay, I mean, gunplay in general was always great in Cyberpunk 2077, I mean, it's responsive, it's good, I like it, and generally when it comes to that, the feeling of the weapons and animation is still top-notch. But also one thing which was always honestly great in Cyberpunk 2077 is the story itself, and the characters, I mean, throughout your travels you're gonna be meeting various types of characters and just different types of adventures, and it's going to be a lot of fun, because this game also tackles various genres of Cyberpunk in general. 
including very touching stories, happy stories, sad stories, but that is the nature of the cyberpunk universe. When it comes to driving in general, that has also been optimized more, so now cars feel a lot better to drive, including bikes as well. And also a huge plus if you're on PC, you just have to try the mods because the modding community has been going crazy and of course they give you a lot of amazing mods to play around with so I definitely recommend modding if you are on PC and want to just experience cyberpunk in even more features and detail. When it comes to police in cyberpunk 2077 it's kinda still the same like it was on release where they're still going to spawn around you. Now, CD Projekt Red has announced that the next patch is going to fix that and they're gonna be introducing a new police system into the game, but when it comes to generally wanted level, it's not going to be anything special yet on that sense. Is Cyberpunk perfect right now? Absolutely not. There's still some rough edges in the game itself and when it comes generally to NPC AI, it still needs work obviously as they said with the police system as well, but generally most of the big boy bugs and the problematic ones which kinda ruin the experience of the game were removed where right now you can build on top of this and have something absolutely amazing. And one of the things which was always problematic for me in Cyberpunk were life paths where they were not fully fleshed out throughout the game itself and most of the stuff you're gonna be getting from life paths is going to be a dialogue options which don't really matter too much but of course every single time I felt like I was just you know role playing a street kid it doesn't matter which background I kinda come from. So I do hope that's more fleshed out in the future especially when it comes to decisions in the game. But don't get me wrong, there are a lot of micro decisions in Cyberpunk in general where throughout quests, even side activities, you're gonna be making some decisions which are going to have an impact, especially when it comes to the main story of your game. So yes, Cyberpunk does have decisions and maybe when it comes to endings and some stuff that's not fully fleshed out without going into spoilers, but honestly everything else throughout those quests does matter. And that also goes into relationships you build throughout the game because the game is gonna be offering you various romantic options and choices which actually feel like they mean something and they're not just there to kind of fill in the screen time or just fill in activities in general. And slowly but surely this game is making a comeback and especially right now when things are fixed and the game is cheaper, well I don't know if it's gonna be on sale when you're watching this video but still it is something you absolutely must experience because due to all of the problems it had, the, as I said, the story and the experience you're gonna be going through can be very unique. And this is everything I have for you today, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more, and also if you want to support the channel in an extra way I do have a Patreon page and huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out. Stay class everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, go.